You know, old girl, sometimes I think you're probably the finest ship ever to have sailed the vortex. Am my word. So now we know. Now we know for sure. But why are they here, hmm? Why are all the doctors here? Play, Doctor. I'm waiting for you. Hello, YouTube, and welcome to yet another Doc 2 audio review. In this audio review, I shall be looking at the special edition or limited edition right at the end. So, before I actually look at the story and the extra content, let's go and have a look at the artwork and the way this limited edition. Uh, set is presented. Okay, so on the cover itself we have the 50th anniversary logo of the Hartnell Vortex now. Big Finish have decided to keep this now, I think. Um, light at the end, then we have all five doctors starring in this story, so Tom Baker, Peter Davison, Colin Baker, Les McCoy, Paul McGann. 50th anniversary logo starring, as I've just said, Big Finish. On the side, we just have the 50th anniversary logo again, Doctor Who Light at the end, Big Finish. On the back, we have what the story is about, so feel free to pause that. You can see it. Um, written and directed by Nicholas Briggs. Then we have the cast members there. And then we have my limited edition number. And that's basically it. So that's the outer case. Um, if we just do that, it reveals a book. If I can get it up, there we are. Which is exactly the same cover, but the only difference now is we have the pictures of the Doctor. Okay, so if we open it up we have Disc 1 which contains Light at the End Part 1 um, and Light at the End Disc 2 with Part 2. Um, okay, so if we open that up then we have the next page which is the Seal of Rassilon with a blank bit of vortex there. Then we have the Celestial Intervention Agency thing about uh, Straxus's involvement in the story. And we have a picture of Straxus there. And then we have the first three Doctors and their involvement in the story, the Celestial Intervention Agency. And then we have the fourth Doctor's um, involvement in the story. And we have a bit of bio on the Doctor. Well, it's the same for all the characters in this. And what they did in this story. Fifth Doctor and his involvement and a bit of text about his Doctor. Sixth Doctor and his involvement in the story. Then we have the Seventh Doctor and again his involvement in the story and the Eighth Doctor with his involvement there. And then we have the Master again with his involvement in the story. Then we have various other characters, so Vitalis, Bob Dovey and Postscript and the report ends. And then we have a picture of Bob Dovey there inside Vitalis. And then we have a picture of the five Doctors who starred in this, so Tom Baker, Peter Davison, Colin Baker, Sves McCoy and Paul McGann. Um, I believe they used this photo for the Doctor magazine cover in September or October, that issue. And then we have a picture of the companions, so we've got um, Louise Jameson, uh, Sarah Sutton, Nicola Bryant, Sophie Aldred and Indy Fisher. And then we have some various other cast members who starred in this, so William Russell, Caroline Ford. Uh, Jean Marsh, Peter Perves, uh Annika Wilkes and Maureen O'Brien because they have a minor role but I'll talk about that later on in my thoughts on the story then we have Fraser Hines and Wendy Padbury, Katie Manning, Mark Strickson, Janet Fielding and we have Jeffrey Beavers as the master down below then we have a bit of bio on what's on each disc so we have the make on disc 3 we have the making of the light at the end with contributions from the cast this is Big Finish, with you know looking back at Big Finish and what have you. And then we have an exclusive, well not really exclusive, but a nice little extra Companion Chronicles of Revenant, what was originally released exclusively with Doc 2 magazine. Um, and there's a story if you want to know about that story. Um, and then we have the cast and the picture of William Russell there. And then we have the Seal of Russell on again, Making of Light at the End. This is Big Finish. Disc 5, The Revenants, The Companion Chronicles, and here we have pieces of the of the uh, TARDIS there. So, yeah, that's basically the way the set is presented. 
Now I'm going to go on my thoughts on this story, Light at the End itself, and then I'll cover the other bonus content later in the video. Okay, so all my thoughts on this 50th anniversary, Light at the End. Light at the End covers the different genres of Doctor Who in one story, making this a love letter to classic Doctor Who fans. From the action, to the dark, gothic style, and this sort of Time Lords talking and all that sort of fun stuff. Um, Nicholas Briggs does this brilliantly. With this story being a two-parter, the story gets time to breathe and the audience time to reflect on the events that have happened in the story so far. The Doctors themselves are introduced one by one. Um, this may be a problem if you're a fifth Doctor fan because he doesn't get introduced until I think, if I can remember rightly, the second part. Um, now, what of the first three Doctors? Well, they're still pretty central to the plot. They're probably one of the main aspects of the plot, which is brilliant because they're the three Doctors who sort of started it in a way. Well, the first two in a way, but John Pertwee laid down the foundations in a way. But it is brilliant that they are still have a part in this story, and it's just brilliant to have that. Some of the companions, um, we only get to hear a glimpse of their voices, you know, when Charlie this may be a spoiler, is going through the sort of timeline where the TARDIS is changing and where she ends up uh, meeting the fourth Doctor. Um, so yeah. What are my overall thoughts on this story? It's fantastic. Light at the End, as I said, is a love letter to classic Doctor Who fans. The performances are fantastic with Geoffrey Beaver's portrayal as a master being sly and more devious than ever. The Doctors work brilliant. They have a brilliant rapport. And to be honest, the best double act in this story is probably Tom Baker and Paul McGann. They work brilliantly uh, together. Um, yeah, all the cast are fantastic. As I said, this is a love letter to Doctor Who for the classic fans, um, just in case we dare if the Doctor didn't cover it. And it is just a fantastic story, um, and I highly recommend Light at the End. Um, I think the story, each part is one hour long, so it's just brilliant um, so it's two hours long but it is definitely worth it um, so yeah now let's go on to the little bonus features of this special edition or limited edition thing so yeah let's go and have a look at them right so here we come to the bonus content so disc 3 disc 4 and disc 5 um, so if you get the standard edition of light at the end you just get the story you don't get these extra discs. So the making of the light to the end is good. It's really good. It's really good to have you know the cast members talk about their involvement in this story and what they sort of think about it. And it's just brilliant. Um, there's not a lot I can say about that. Um, then this is Big Finish. Now this looks at the past, the Big Finish, and how Big Finish came about and all that sort of stuff with contributions from all these people. And it's interesting to hear their thoughts on Big Finish and you know why they like it and stuff okay, like that. Okay, so what are my thoughts on The Revenants? Now, I have to say this is a pretty good Companions Chronicle. This is the first Companion Chronicles I've actually listened to and it fits in really well because Ian's recalling his previous adventure in Orkney and it's quite good, it's quite creepy, it's got the music really helps the sort of creepiness of it and it does really have that 1960s sort of feel to it which is brilliant and it's just great I do love it it's set between the Dalek invasion of Earth and um, the rescue because there are some mentions of Susan you know saying oh did the doctor say goodbye to Susan and stuff like that it does have a few references to previous adventures in the TARDIS so this is definitely a good little thing to include um, and if you didn't get the Doctor Who magazine what it included um, then yeah it's I would definitely try and get this because you're getting a few extras as well but this is a good story and I'll probably give it a 7 or 8 out of 10 it is quite a good story and with these sort of marsh creatures what are inside it, it's quite cool really um, so yeah that's been uh, my review of the Revenants. Revenants is fantastic. Um, so now I'm going to go into my overall thoughts on Might at the End, the special, the uh, limited edition variant of it. So yeah, let's uh, go into my final thoughts. Um, but before set. I go to my final thoughts, I forgot to show you guys the disc. So disc one and two are exactly the same artwork as the front cover of the Doctors on there. Disc three we have the Seal of Rassel on. This is Big Finish. 
Oh uh, no, sorry, disc four that is. Uh, disc three is the making of the light in with the master, and then we have the R work for the revenant with the first doctor on. So yeah, now let's go into my final thoughts on this set. So yeah, let's go and have a look at that. Okay, what are my final thoughts on the light at the end limited edition variants? Now this makes it more worthwhile because you're getting extras, you're getting the makings, you're getting a documentary about the big finish, and an exclusive sort of companion chronicle. Whereas if you saw my review of this uh, BBC Shop um, limited edition Series 7 box set, you're just getting the same thing, but it's packaged differently. But at least with this, you're getting a few extra features, which is fantastic. And the extra features are definitely worth the extra bit of money. Um, do I prefer the light at the end to the day of the Doctor? Um, i got to say, I do prefer the light at the end just a little bit more. I do love the day of the Doctor, um, but light at the end, because I prefer the classic series, um, this is just a lovely little letter for classic Doctor Who fans of the light at the end. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend the light at the end. Um, if you're a collector or you're into big finish, then definitely do pick up this variant of it. But if not, you just want to try um, some big finish audio, then just get the standard one. And I think this is a perfect um, place to jump on board the big finish audios. Um, so, yeah, this definitely will make people want to get some more Big Finish because I have to say this made me sort of get a bit more mad into Big Finish and explore the different Doctors in the monthly range and Lost Stories and what have you but yeah The Light at the End is a fantastic story a special edition has some extra little Brucey bonuses and it's just fantastic and I highly recommend The Light at the End and it's just a story classic fans if they haven't listened to it just need to go and listen to it now it is just phenomenal because it covers as I said all the different genres of Doctor Who what we all saw from the previous 26 years of Doctor Who so yeah thank you very much for watching this review my next review will be of Survival the final classic series um, story um, so yeah thank you very much for watching this review and I will see you in Survival um, I hopefully I won't get teleported to a cheetah person's planet or run into any cats. Yeah. So for now, goodbye.